Hello YouTubers. Uh, I wasn't going to make a video, but Lou mentioned it. And we're out on a lovely day. Just another walk with Kia. Somewhere a bit different. I haven't taken anyone before. Um, you can probably hear the rooks crowing above us in this little beech woods. And uh, basically, I just thought I'd show you around on another little spot. And over there... That there, that field on the hill, I don't know if you can see it, the dark lines that are making a square grid. Um, I, I don't think I've got a zoom on this, I haven't found one yet, I shall have to have a look. But yeah, from that tree line, all the way on the other side of the hill, you see the dark lines making that uh, grid. Well, that's an old, the remains of an old medieval village. Uh, the actual village itself used to be up here along the ridge line up in the corner and everywhere else all along here there used to be a river running all along here there still is a watering hole in that little copse there and then the river meanders up there through the village up there and over the ridge over there somewhere um, which is probably the reason that they was um they decided to make a camp here but yeah it's uh just a quick, quick little, little bit of a history video. Somewhere different. A lovely, lovely summer's day. Uh, so I thought I'd put, take a little bit of advantage and put a quick uh, three, four minute video up. Hope you like it. Um, I'm going to switch off now and uh, go to my cup of tea. And Darren, if you're watching, Funky Prepper, where I'm pointing my finger, you'll know what I mean. Look forward to it, mate. So, yeah, um, short video. Hope you like the scenery. Hope you like the uh, little bit of a quick history lesson. Yeah, it was a medieval village. I don't know what happened to it or why it's not there no more, but what the remain, what is left is the grids, grids of their fields and boundaries. Yeah, thanks very much. Bye for now. Hello YouTubers, yeah I just thought I'd show you, I mentioned that little river stretching across the uh, medieval village which from here, a bit closer, you should be able to see the um, all the all the different uh, border lines and the raising. This bit here, this little zigzaggy bit you can see, uh, is the river and that's the line, I don't know if your finger's right on it but you, can, you should be able to see where it bends. And that's the river, which came down into a major river all along the bottom of the fence line here, which goes in the water all over there, which is still full of water. So yeah, yeah, it's uh, another, another little history lesson, another place that uh, most people probably haven't seen. So yeah, nice cup of tea, nice sandwich. Um, hope you like it, and uh, bye for now. Ta -ra. Ditches stretching along there, all the way over in the background. This is the uh, the remainders Viking uh, defensive perimeter. This apparently is as far as they got to Salisbury, and their main base around here was Chippenham, which is probably we're probably talking of about 15 miles in that direction. Sorry if I drifted there. When just before the Battle of Ethendoon in 879, it was based in here. And then King Alfred and his men come along and they're scattered from here. It's a White Horse Fort, which is about three, three and a half miles in that direction across the plain, um, where they had the big Battle of Ethendoon, and then they were uh, sent back into Chippenham. That was it, then Dane Law happened. So, yeah, there's a, the remains of a Viking sort of FO, FOB, I suppose, forward operating base for. Well, I hope you find it interesting, and uh, I'm 
signing off now. Thanks a lot and uh, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.